When did you get word that a certain Mr. Clough was interested in signing you? Sincere congratulations. You are a very talented young man. Thanks very much. There were one or two clubs that were interested in me, but the biggest factor was Brian Clough. I was just intrigued by the man. What does the prospect of playing for Brian Clough feel like to you? It appeals to me very much. I've always respected Brian. He's got a tremendous record. And if I get the opportunity, I'd love to speak to him. So they got the best out of the existing players, but they brought in so many good players as well. They weren't afraid to make the biggest signings. Do you really think you're worth £1 million? No, that's the honest answer, because, uh, you know, I know it's been said so many times, but I don't think any player is worth £1 million. Great. I'll put that there just in case he makes a balls of it. And I'll just... <laughs> the record transfer fee at the time was 500000 It was a big, big story. Shaking a bit. Brian gave us the exclusive pictures of the signing and then made Trevor Francis the first million pound footballer go and make us all tea. The setting is both original and superb and one really could start for a better evening for a game of football. Clough picks a side but surprisingly has Trevor Francis playing in a wide right position. Trevor Francis makes his debut in European football, wearing number seven, for sure will play on the right side in midfield. It was a position that didn't come straight forward to me. Francis playing well wide, little elbow in there from Schinval, this is a good run by Francis. Superbly done, but the pass went between Woodcock and Bursle. It was a hot, sticky evening and it was hard to break them down. It was my instructions that whenever John Robertson was in possession, get yourself into that back post. I remember the ball being played out by Ian Boyer, out to the left-hand side to John. Robertson, the first time we've seen them attack them, and there's Francis! And Trevor Francis, the million-pound man, puts his name on the score sheet and returns a great deal of the cheque. I had to make up a lot of ground. You know, I was sprinting because, can you imagine if you put that ball to the back post and I wasn't there? It's the biggest moment of my footballing career. Not the victory that they were looking for in style, but a victory nonetheless. John McGavin holds the European Cup along. That looks useful. It's Riediger. There's a goal. That is disaster. Total disaster for Nottingham Forest. Hans Jurgen Riediger. Brian, what do you make of the way that tie went? I thought it was a very bad result for us, Gary. When you did well for Brian Clough, he made you feel good. In the reverse, you didn't want to get on the end of too many tongue lashings from him because he could be ferocious with his tongue. Show me anything connected with Trevor. Can I just spin on to the clearance at the end? I think that'll be enough. Because I didn't see him for 90 minutes. Show me again. Did you not think he contributed a lot there? No, oh, well, he didn't do the one thing he should have done, put one in the net. Well, That's what he's paid to do. We lost the game, and the whole blame was heaped on my shoulders. If somebody had wanted to go badly enough, then we might have had a better result. I think, Gary, over there, we will want a goal badly enough. We got to the airport at East Midlands on the Monday. We didn't speak to each other. The first contact we had was the Wednesday night, about an hour and a quarter before kickoff, and Brian put his arm around me and he said, young man, where do you want to play tonight? I said, well, you know where I want to play. I want to play up the middle. Right, he said, you start there and make sure you finish the game there. Taken by Lloyd. David Needham with the flick on Francis. Has he got it in? He has. Well, 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 the goal that Forrest needed, wanted and were desperate for and Francis. The man around whom there's been so much discussion puts the ball in the net. I wanted to contribute in a position that I felt was my best position. 
So it was like a release for me. Go out there and play. O'Neill, this is the close football that Forrest can be very good at on the edge of the penalty area. Still O'Neill, Francis turning. Oh, he's got another one. And Forrest are now in front. I'd probably one of my finest games for Nottingham Forest. The referee has blown and Nottingham Forest are there in the semi-final. And once again, Brian Clough has pulled off what looks so unlikely.